Hey guys, what's up? It's Terrence. Back again with some tips, tricks, and what have you. Um, today I wanted to go over um, adding filter groups to your channel rack, which is this. So, basically when you want to separate like percussion, you want to have all the drums, like all your samples in one spot, and then you want to have like all your lead sounds in one spot, all your effects in another spot, and etc. So basically what you're going to do is in here you're going to right click and you're going to add a filter group. And we'll, we'll name this one FX. And so now we can add, we'll just go sampler for fun. And then we can we can add samples and however many we want here. But now we need to work on, we need to add another filter group for drums. So we're going to right click, select add filter group, and we're going to write drums. I'm typing one handed, sorry guys. And so now we can, we can add whatever we want. I don't necessarily use this plugin um, sometimes it comes in handy if you get stuck on a beat block or writer's block or whatever it comes in handy but now we got that and you can just keep adding as, as many things as you want here we just add another sampler and then now you can either scroll using the wheel on your mouse or you can click here and this is your unsorted so this will be like everything that you didn't put in a filter group and then if if you have audio it'll also show up in there too as just audio but it'll also show up where you have it uh, in your filter group so again that's right click add filter group and then type whatever it is that you want it to be uh, we'll do leads because I like leads and then you can just click here and you can add whatever you want so pretty pretty cool and that is how you so thank you guys very much for watching um, like subscribe should share and uh, or subscribe and share and if you have any um, ideas for videos or questions or anything uh, just leave it down in the comments and I'll be more than happy to try to make a video best of my abilities if I don't know the answer, I'll figure out the answer and I'll share it with all you the easiest way I can uh, and as fast as possible without wasting too much of your time so you can get back to writing. But thank you guys and see you next time.